How to plan a Beijing trip. As the imperial and modern capital of China, Beijing is the front door to China's history and present day. It is the most important and interesting city in China, both in relation to tourism and to understanding the country. If you are planning a trip to Beijing, these should be on your list of things to do. Walk on a less crowded section of the Great Wall. Explore the Emperor's Forbidden City. See park life and amazing architecture at the Temple of Heaven. Relax in the Royal Garden Retreat or the Summer Palace. Discover old-style local life in the small Hutong Lanes. Taste traditional Beijing food with the Peking roast duck. When is the best time to visit Beijing? The best time to visit Beijing is from September to November. The weather is usually quite mild, and there are few tourists. The high season is from April to October. The low season is from November to March. We recommend that you book well in advance if you plan to visit during the Chinese holidays. The Chinese summer holiday season are July and August. Labor Day is from May 1st to May 3rd. The National Day is from October 1st to October 7th. The Spring Festival is normally in late January or early to mid February. Normally, we suggest avoiding the above Chinese holidays because the attractions could be crowded. However, if your schedule does not allow you to avoid these periods, our guide will try his or her best to help you avoid the crowds. Where should I stay for a Beijing trip? Beijing is a huge city with a vast range of accommodation options suiting every budget, including hotels. Hostels, traditional hutong courtyards, and boutiques. There are several areas you can consider when choosing your hotel. There are Central Beijing, Wangfujing, Northeast Beijing, and the Hohai area. Wangfujing area is in the city center. It is convenient for shopping and eating. The recommended hotels in this area are the Peninsula Hotel Beijing, Regent Hotel Beijing, and Navatel. Beijing Peace. Northeast Beijing is a new business district that has a well-developed infrastructure for tourism. The recommended hotels in this area are Crown Plaza Beijing, Chaoyang U Town, and Hotel Eclat Beijing. Do I need to get a visa for a Beijing trip? Usually, foreigners need to apply for a visa before traveling to China. If you meet the requirements of the 144-hour visa-free transit policy, you can stay in Beijing for 144 hours without a visa. The famous foods you should try. Getting to know Beijing with your taste buds would be a wonderful experience. Peking roast duck, Beijing meat pie, dumplings, noodles with fried soybean sauce, and royal court desserts are the traditional Beijing food that we recommend you try. How long do I need for a Beijing trip? Normally, we suggest spending three nights in Beijing if you only want to cover all of the must-sees. If you visit Beijing on business or just have a layover, we suggest you see the essence of Beijing, the Great Wall, and the Forbidden City. If you have more days to discover more about the city, or if you travel with kids and want to slow down your pace. We're happy to give you the best suggestions according to your interests and needs. Spotlight experiences you should not miss in Beijing. We believe an authentic travel experience goes beyond visiting the must-see attractions. Here are the top four experiences offered by China Highlights. They will help you immerse yourself in the local culture and the lives of the local people. One. Discover the Forbidden City via our Emperor's Tour. Go beyond the touristy routes and hear the stories of the emperors. Number two, a taste of Chinese culture. 
try out a Chinese cultural experience in Gubei, Watertown, and soak up the atmosphere of ancient China. 3. Beijing Life Discovery Walk Walk into an authentic Beijing neighborhood to get an insight into the Chinese retirement life. 4. The Old Beijing of a Foodie Try eight kinds of local food and listen to the stories behind these delicacies. How to visit the Great Wall Firstly, carefully choose the section you would like to visit according to your fitness and interests. Second, visit the Great Wall in spring or fall for better scenery and weather while avoiding crowds. Three, finally consider having a guide. What is the best time to visit the Great Wall? The best times to visit the Great Wall around Beijing are spring and autumn. You can avoid summer heat and crowds and freezing winter conditions. The spring in Beijing refers to April and May. The temperature is comfortable in the mountains and the green plants and flowers make the Great Wall scenery beautiful. Fall refers to September to November. This period is the best hiking season because of the clear weather. How to get to the Great Wall? Tour buses may not take you where you want to go, and you are guaranteed a quote-unquote Chinese tour experience of being herded from place to place. We recommend taking a private tour. If you come all the way to China to see the Great Wall, why settle for a second-rate experience? What are the four recommended sections of the Great Wall? The Mu Tianyu section is the most popular among foreign travelers. This is the most child-friendly section. The Jin Shanling section is half restored and half wild. It is also the most beautiful section of the Great Wall. The Jianko section is wild and steep. It is the most dangerous section of the Great Wall. The Sumatai section incorporates different characteristics of each section of the Great Wall, and visitors can have a night tour to enjoy a unique view. Tips for wheelchair users The Great Wall at Mu Tianyu and Juyongguan is more wheelchair friendly. You could at least see some of the Great Wall near Beijing at valley bottom level there. Recommended Beijing Tour We recommend a four-day Beijing trip which allows you to explore the Forbidden City in a unique way. Enjoy the stunning night view of the Great Wall and immerse yourself in a cultural town at the base of the Great Wall. Day 1 Arrival in Beijing A comfortable private car with an experienced driver will transfer you directly to your hotel. Your guide will help you check in. Day 2. Visit the city highlights including the Tiananmen Square, the Forbidden City, and the Temple of Heaven. Starting with the Tiananmen Square, feel the spirit of China in the world's largest city square. Then you will explore the best preserved ancient imperial palace in the world, the Forbidden City. Different from the standard visits to the Forbidden City, we've selected 12 sites and combined the history and historical figures to present you with a living Forbidden City. The landmark of Beijing, the Temple of Heaven, will be the last stop of the day. Day 3. Walk on the Great Wall at Simatai and enjoy a night view of the Great Wall. Enjoy the spectacular and original appearance of the Great Wall. See the Great Wall lit up all along the ridge of the mountains at night and enjoy the beautiful night view of the Gubei Water Town. Day 4. Explore Gubei Water Town, try one Chinese cultural experience, and depart Beijing. Enjoy your time at Gubei Water Town, which is in a traditional courtyard style. Immerse yourself in Chinese culture with the hand-picked activities of tie-dyeing, kite-making, and Buddhist text tracing. Select one of these activities to make your own unique severe of your Beijing trip.